the special honor to talk a great entrepreneur, the winner of several startup competitions and the founder of Meet Optics. Welcome, Barbara. Hey, Leo, it's Ben. Thank you for your kind words. It's an honor also for me to have you here uh, and also a founder of Astraican. So, how are you today? Very well, thank you. This is a great moment for me because, of course, I also remember the time when me and my team introduced Aspherican to the market. For example, I can remember the times when we spent 20 hours um, a day in the fab and we founders took uh, little power naps uh, on my grandfather's old uh, sofa, which was placed in the corner of our first fab. A very intense time, but also a wonderful creative time. Barbara, you've been in business for three years now, roughly. Uh, is there a special moment in your founding history you remember most? Yeah, I, I remember, like, there have been many, many exciting moments, but one that I remember probably the most exciting one was the first time that we uh, went to the SPI Photonics West in San Francisco. There were many, many companies, as you know, you were one of the companies there. And we met your team, and your team was so excited to be uh, that to see what we were creating that they were like, yeah, sure, we want to be there. And that ex that moment was extremely exciting because we also met many people in the community that was exciting about what we were doing, and this is what gives us the energy to continue. So that's 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 very that's probably one of the most exciting moments. So I'm curious to know uh, what motivates you to go from an engineering uh, in computer science career to the photonics indus industry, which is a bit different from normal. Yeah, well, at, at Sphericon, the one uh, goes hand in hand with the other. Uh, our self-developed software architecture is a differentiating factor in the industry, and it has been maintained and developed um, since day one of our existence. So I think we can say it is the heart of Aspherican. In fact, in um, our founding years, I often stood at the machine myself and manufactured optics. And um, we could not afford having people at that time. But that's life. And um, if you have a vision, uh, if you have a goal, if you are motivated, and if you've uh, the right partners around you, uh, you can really do it. Well, Barbara, somehow it's similar, I think, with Meet Optics, or you and your co-founder, two experts from the field of physics and have joined forces, and I think your magic key is IT too. How do you experience it uh, when these two worlds meet up? Yeah, you're right. Like the combination of IT and physics and IT and photonics in our case, no, it's it's something um, not that common, but it's not also impossible. So I'm super happy that um, the co-founder of Metoptics is James Douglas. He's PhD in physics. He has a background in mathematics, but he's super good in programming. So this is very important. And I'm also very proud and maybe honored as well to have a team that can also combine these two skills that it's physics plus IT because we do need this for creating the, the website for sure. So that's, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, but it's also nice to see that there are many people in the community that also, that also have these two skills. Um, maybe uh, we talking to the photonics industry, you know, so how do you see your next steps or the, the challenges that the industry can provide uh, to us? Well, I think an um, important point uh, for the photonics as uh, where it's placed, uh, it is an enabler, or as we say in Germany, an, an uh, Möglichmacher. So speaking about, of course, standard lasers, manufacturing lasers, and a lot of related applications, as well as measuring, as well as, um, well, a lot of health industry topics. Uh, we are not getting younger, uh, rather the different, rather the opposite. 
And of course, there are also things to name like aerospace and, and climate protection, where a lot of things uh, will be possible, like just looking at how, how it behaves over the time from space and so on. And for, all for that, you need lenses and objectives. So I'm sure photonics will leave its footprints, very remarkable footprints in there. And systems will uh, become smaller, more compact, more powerful and so on. So you, the, the aim of Metoptics is a wide range of products from fire and safe reliability are one of the, the missions. So we want to have a platform that has that gathers all available products in the market that can um, enable you to build any photonics technology from them. So we started with the search of optics because that was what we thought there, is, there are more bottlenecks that prevent users from finding what they are looking for. Um, then we extend it a bit more for maybe being shapers where we included your products of Aspherican and we're very happy. And um, now that we have a set of a complete set of optics, what we want to do is okay, you have the optics, so you need the optomechanics, you need the light sources, you need the detection devices, and you also need sometimes fiber components. So we want to build a place where you can go there and find anything you need photonics related. So what are, are your plans then for the near future? Do we have to expect new products from Aspericon coming up soon? Currently, we are working on expanding our uh, capacities. As always, an extremely exciting time. This starts with the construction of new workspaces, continues with the optimization of process flow and of course ends with the acquisition of technology and stuff. And there will also be innovations on the product side. On the one hand, we still strengthen our stock optics as well as our beam tuning assortment. You can be curious about that. I look forward to see more stock optics coming from Aspericon. I'm sure our users, professionals in this field, will love it to have them there. I'm, I'm really sure. Uh, so I'm, I'm certain we will meet soon in person, hopefully. Uh, I guess probably soon. I hope so too, yes, of course, uh, for the next laser of Photonics in Munich in April 2022. It should work out, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it should work out. So we will be, we will be there as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been very nice talking to you. It's a pleasure. And I, I look forward to seeing you and all your team. I mean, you have a fantastic team. We're very happy of have you, having you on board because our users love your quality of the optics. They love your company. And this makes us very proud and honored to have you on board. So yeah, um, thanks for your trust on us. And I, I look forward to meeting you in person soon. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you so much. Take care and see you Thank soon. You. Take care. Bye bye.